And our senior international correspondent, Gary Lane, has been following this story from the very beginning. And Gary joins us now. Welcome, Gary. Hi, Mark. Good to be with you. Did you expect this decision? Yes, I, I did, uh, because we have a great God, and he answers Amen. prayer. And there were a lot of Christians around the world praying for this. But in addition to that, the court delayed announcing its decision earlier this month. And many Pakistani Christians at that time said that was good news, because if they wanted to uh, execute her, they would have announced it at that time. So the delay may have been to uh, allow her family to uh, get to asylum in a Western country and for those negotiations to take place. Let's talk a little bit more about what happens now. What do you think is going to happen? Well, I think right now she is probably not even in Pakistan. The Pakistani government says that she is uh, in a safe location. I think she's in a Western country somewhere, Canada, the U.S., U.K., Australia, Sweden, Norway, somewhere like that. Uh, she and her family. So, but what will happen after that, uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But we need to be praying as Christians for Christians in Pakistan and the churches there because Islamists are already starting to riot. And if it gets out of hand, they could end up burning uh, churches, uh, hurting Christians and so forth. So we need to be praying. Yes, very true. Well, a top Islamic cleric called for protests yes. if she was released. Do you expect those protests, maybe even yeah. violence? Well, they're, they're already starting, Mark. And so we need to be on our knees praying, God, protect the Christians of Pakistan who suffer. There are only about 2% uh, of the population there. They're second, third class citizens in that country, and they could be uh, subjected to attacks. This is a landmark decision. Do you yes. think it's going to change anything in Pakistan? No, I don't think it'll change anything in Pakistan. Asya Bibi uh, it was the first woman uh, to be uh, convicted and uh, scheduled for execution uh, for blasphemy, the longest serving Christian uh, in prison in Pakistan on blasphemy charges, serving over nine years, almost nine and a half years in prison. For what, Mark? I mean, I mean, she, she, what did she say? She may have said something like, you know, my, my Jesus uh, saved me. What has your prophet ever done for you? And for that, uh, she was sentenced uh, to death and uh, has spent uh, almost 10 years in prison. And can you imagine that, Mark, in this country, if someone criticized Donald Trump uh, and, and was executed for that, if that were the sentence, uh, there'd be a lot of Americans on death row right now. And, uh, but that's how it is in Pakistan. You criticize Mohammed, no tolerance of that whatsoever. You're to be executed. But this is a good day for Asya Bibi. It's a good day for Pakistani Christians. Justice has prevailed, and God has answered prayer. Amen. Thank you, Gary.